Today I'm going to give you a tour of my library and book collection. I am really lucky to have this room in our house devoted to the books and I get to hang out with them and be surrounded by them. When we bought this house, I was wondering where all these books would go and this house that we decided to buy had a living room and a formal sitting room. And since we don't formally sit all that much, we decided to make this the library. My husband made these bookshelves for me and because he took the molding off, they really are built in and they look original to the house. He also gave me this nice molding on the front of the shelves with a little lip. So the spines all line up really nicely and look a little bit polished. He let it slip later that he wrote a note under the bookshelves that I can't see. And I'm hoping one day to get it out of him what it says. Sometimes we call this room the Joan Morganson Memorial Library after my mom. She really gave me this great love of reading and books and used books and the smell of books. And I think she would love this room. Uh, she was also a bargain hunter, so I think she would like some of the prices of the books that I found at uh, used bookstores and auctions, some of the treasures. And I think along the way, I have really tried to find things that I just liked. So some of the books are uh, rare and collectible, and the ones that I get really excited about are the books that I read as a kid. And I like finding a special edition or something that is um, less common, and I, I like having those. And then sometimes just things I like. And there's also books that I just enjoyed reading, and it's just a regular reader copy. I have arranged some in a fiction section. I don't differentiate the rare books from the paperbacks. I love them all the same. And then I have a nonfiction section, and then I have a little bit other. We have some reference books, some engineering books, some travel books, some cookbooks at the end. And I, I think that I am really, really married to the idea of alphabetizing by the author's last name. I've seen some pictures of people's libraries where they have them beautifully laid out by color and I think I would never find a book that I was looking for so I use the alphabet in high school and college I worked at Barnes & Noble and I do I think I use pretty much the exact same method I would love to know if other people former Barnes & Nobleians use that same method they have some specific ways they treat things in the alphabet and I think that's pretty much what I have going on here so that's about the layout Let's take a look.
Ray. If you have any questions about any of the books that I showed, if you want to hear about the edition or where they came from, just drop me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and happy reading. <laughs>